after finding out that Dean was deaf, I felt like a train hit me. You don't want your picture taken? But you're so cute. I felt like my whole world just crashed. So then I was like, okay, I'm gonna get a hold of my emotions and then I'm gonna research this. We were unhappy with the care that we were having in Indiana. So we got referred to Cincinnati Children's. Dean made an excellent candidate for a cochlear implant because he was identified very early, so he did not pass his newborn hearing screening. We were measuring severe to profound hearing loss in both ears, so audiologically he made a very good candidate as well. For children who have a cochlear implant, they'll have a part that is implanted during a surgery and then a speech processor that's worn on the outside of their head. Here's the magnet um, that connects the internal to the external. And down here are the electrodes. This is the part that goes directly into the cochlea. Um, those are what fire off with the different programming component. Basically, it takes sounds in and, and changes it to an electrical signal so that kids have access to a wide range of sounds and really are able to um, hear better and then hopefully develop normal speech and language um, over time. Where did mommy go? <gasps> the amazing thing is that we have transformed the way that we treat children with hearing loss from just a little over a generation ago to now almost all children should be able to hear, listen, and then potentially speak normally because of the intense efforts that have been done certainly throughout the world. But here at Cincinnati Children's being the leader in children's health care, we're now able to provide that care to everyone in our region. That sounds like perfection. <laughs> Peekaboo! Uh oh, ba ba ba. Uh oh, you did it, good boy. Yay! Yay. What we were doing in the booth is presenting some sounds through the speakers. Um, those are calibrated signals, and so we are presenting those sounds and looking for that auditory responsiveness. So we're looking for him to complete kind of the, the natural head turn or turning and looking for those sounds. I get emotional just thinking about it, thinking about like how this baby has went from hearing nothing, a silent world, to having all of this access of sound. It's amazing that he has hearing, and it's all thanks to Cincinnati Children's. Our team is amazing, and they've really like pushed to try to get him hearing as soon as possible instead of later in life, so he has a better future. One, two, three. One, two, three.